All right, neighbors getting ready to start mowing. I'm gonna do this kind of quickly. Sorry, Brandy and Jack, my man. Wish you could have been there when I picked these bees up at the hospital where your mom works. But hey, we'll get to see each other eventually again. For any of you guys who don't know who Jack is, I'll tag the video that Brandy sent me a couple years ago down in the descriptions. But what we've done is we've caught a swarm uh, September the 26th at Kindred Hospital. It's about three and a half pounds of bees. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move them into this hive. I went ahead, there's one frame of honey that I've robbed from the rich and gave to the poor. Like I said, neighbors getting ready to start mowing, great timing. Got one frame from a swarm trap over here that has, I'll show it to you, that small amount, but there's eggs in it. So I'm gonna put that down below. There's a couple other frames, but they're nasty and nothing on them. I'm gonna shake these bees in here, come back later, try to find the queen. Got a queen excluder down, so she can't get out. Shake them in here, put the piece of screen on the top. I'll put another box on top and put the other bees in it from the other one and let the queen's pheromones from the bottom box, the swarm, go up. I've got the other queen in the cage and let it go up and let them acclimate. In four or five days, I'll come and combine them. First thing I'm gonna do when I open the lid is I'm gonna start spraying sugar water. What sugar water does is it makes the bees sticky. Sugar is their main source of carbs and what they will do is start licking each other instead of flying in the air. You notice that there's no bees flying in the air, hardly. Here's what's on the lid. They probably already started trying drawing comb. This is what's done in the box. Hopefully I can set this back so you can see what's going on. Maybe, maybe not. So what I'll do is just gently tap this into the box. This is what they were hanging on. Anybody that knows me and knows the channel, anything that the swarm that you have this late in the year, I call them an abscond. They're trying to get away from something, i.e. bacteria, viruses, small hive beetles, roa, Because in southeast Tennessee right now, there is not a flow going on strong enough to build up these bees to this strength to have to swarm in the fall of the year. I'm gonna give these girls another little squirt of sugar water. Do not see the queen. That don't mean she's not in here. She may already be in there. Give them a light bump to get them to all the one corner. Dump them in. Look for the queen and the bees that are left. And voila, we're done. Now. Since they have no comb, they have no chance of surviving. So, I am getting ready for winter. So I go through and as hives pull back, draw down their size, I pull out the empty frames. Well, that's what these are, is empty frames from hives that are pulling back. If 
like you get these ladies in that ball on that queen excluder to move, this last frame will go in just fine. You don't press it, you don't mash it, you don't do anything. Just kind of let it sit there. Push your frames together because you don't want any B-space violation, even though they're not going to draw any comb this late in the year. Now, here's the magic sauce. Regular screen door, screen window wire. They can stick their tongues through, pass pheromones. Queen won't get, won't get up there and they won't sting her. So, that goes on. And you can guess what else I forgot to bring. Another box. Be right back. And poof, just like magic, I'm back. So, I set this box. Brought a medium because it's not going to be here long. Three days max. A couple of frames on top of the screen door wire. And I actually take One of the frames out, two of the frames out, I should say, so I shake these other bees in there. Now, the other sad thing going along with this other colony, it's got high beetles. What I do is I shake them in a box lid. And no hive beetles on that box, that frame. Basically, all I'm doing is going through and smashing them as they run. Can't really judge this queen's ability to take care of hive beetles because such a small population. There might be 2,000 bees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the queen out of this swarm and as I go through hives today and tomorrow, if I find one that needs a queen, because I've got one down there that the queen should be back in May to the last, they decided to make their own queen and if they, she ain't back in May to the land, this queen will go in that box. goes in, or the frame goes in, the lid goes on, then we have what's left in the box. What's left in the swarm trap. These ladies will have to find their own way in. Because there's junk and all kinds of stuff in the bottom, so where they've tried cleaning up, there's wax moth debris. But that's it. So I combined two swarms. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.